today I'm going to be doing X chicken number 31. I believe. I think it's number 31. I'm gonna double check. Give me a minute. Yes, X Chicken number 31. I want to start doing X Chicken monthly, so this is going to be my second one because I did one for February, and now this one is going to be the March one. I'm gonna be doing them at the beginning of each month, so yeah. Anyways, before we continue with this X Chicken, I would like to say that this morning was a shit show for me. Number one, I woke up late. Number two, I attempted to do my makeup like full, and it just came out cakey and gross, which is why I removed it, and now I am wearing like the bare minimum. But I figured it's okay. Hey, because today's an ex-chicky and I usually don't look amazing for ex-chicky anyways, so it's okay. Anyways though, I do want to hop right into this video, so if you guys enjoy it, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up, stay subscribed, and what what's the rest of it? Oh yeah, and follow me on my social media, which is Beauty Chicky on Twitter, Instagram, you know, and Snapchat if you're not already. I can't believe I forgot my own intro. Anyways, I do want to get started. I got a collection of questions on my phone, and... Yeah, so let's get started. So as I say at the beginning of every single one of these videos, I went on Twitter and I asked you guys to tweet me questions using hashtag XChicky, and here we go. All right, so the first question, when is your skincare line coming out? And um, guys, I don't know. If you guys didn't already see it on my Twitter and Instagram, I believe, like a week ago or a little less than a week ago, I announced that I'm going to be starting up a skincare line. It's still in the making. I'm still doing a lot of contract stuff and all this crazy crap. There's not even a name for it yet. I don't know which specific products are being released first, um, so I really can't give you guys a lot of information on it. If you guys are interested in hearing more about it though, and if you want to take the survey that I put up on my Twitter and Instagram, it kind of just helps me like, um, what's what's that fancy word? Tailor. It helps me tailor um, a bunch of like things to your skin. Okay, wait, that was just like, I... Let me re-explain. I posted a survey on Twitter and Instagram for you guys to answer and it helps me tailor products to your skin. So basically you guys take the survey, I ask you a bunch of questions about your skin, what products you like using, and it helps me when I go to create the products, tailor things to your skin type that way that I create products that are great for everybody. If you guys wanna take the survey, it's still up. You guys take it for, I think when this goes up on Friday, you can take it Friday and Saturday. So the next two days you can take it, I'll leave it down below. But um, yeah, so I don't really have a specific date when it's coming out, it's probably not gonna be for another couple months because like I said there's a lot of contract stuff involved and you know all that stuff like it's not easy like starting the stuff up it's not like I could just like create it on the spot and then boom so it's taking a while but it's gonna be out eventually you guys will hear more details as I go about my hair is just like in another dimension today it's I don't even know what it's doing it has a mind of its own anyways the next question is what is your favorite memory from your trip to LA last week um and oh my gosh what was my favorite memory I don't know I don't know really. I really liked when I was kind of just driving around with Adiel and we were just talking to each other about life and just like ranting about things. That was really fun, which you know, it's like you don't see like one of your best friends for like a long time and then you see them and then you just like talk about everything. That's literally what happens with me and Adiel. So definitely that. Of course, I love seeing my boyfriend. That's the main reason why I went to LA was to visit my boyfriend. Um, however, I didn't see him as much because he was in rehearsals for like the entire day rehearsing for the invitation tour. You guys know that they're going on that tour. So he was rehearsing and while he was in rehearsal I would kind of just do my own thing and everything because you know I didn't want to just like sit there for like eight hours doing nothing so I would like go out with that yell and all that stuff but at the end of the day when he was done with rehearsals and I was done with my crazy hectic day we just come together and we would like go on walk or we would just chill together and yeah so I don't have like a specific memory that like I loved so much but like it was just like the entire experience just being there was nice Alright, the next question is how hard are long distance relationships on a scale of one to ten and I mean, everybody's distant. I mean, everybody's <laughs> everybody's different. No, nope, not everybody's distant. Oh my gosh, I'm just like. <sighs> Today is a confusing day. Everybody is different with how they view long distance relationships. Um, it depends on if you saw each other all the time and then something happened when you went long distance or if you started as long distance. You know, it depends, like it's different with everybody. Um, with me and Corbin, we started as a long distance couple and we've been doing it for like almost two years now. Um, so for us, it's not really as difficult as it was in the beginning because we're like very used to it now and I'm constantly doing my own thing with, you know, going to FIT and doing YouTube so I have my college and my YouTube channel and he's doing his own thing with his music So it's not as difficult for us anymore And I mean of course there's times where we like miss each other and we want to see each other But you know, it's nice when you know, we just like wait it out We do our own thing and then eventually like at the end of the month or something We'll go and he say and we'll go and we'll see each other I can't talk at the end of the month We will go and we will see each other and we'll just spend a couple days together And it'll be really really nice and just focused on like us and our relationship So yeah for us, it's not really that difficult, but I know it's a lot more difficult for other people 
people. Um, so yeah. If you guys want me to create a video talking all about long distance relationships, I mentioned it in a Chicky Chit Chat once before, like a very like small part of Chicky Chit Chat, which I actually think in that video I said that I wouldn't be able to do long distance because I need a person there. And then like, I, I think like three or four months after that video is when I started dating Corbin. So I just like totally like, I, I don't even know. I just like, I judged myself. I judged my capabilities, so. Yeah, but if you guys want a whole video dedicated to long distance, I would definitely be open to doing it So just let me know. All right, the next question is what is one fashion trend you think will never end in like anything denim really? Like like basic denim jeans like those are always here to stay like nobody will ever like look at somebody Weirdly cuz they're wearing denim jeans like those just it's just a thing. They will always stay Next question is if somebody made a movie about your life, who would you want to play you? I mean if somebody made a movie about my life I would hope that they would cast me as a lead role since it's about me I would like to be in my own movie but if I wasn't in my own movie um I don't know who I would have as a lead maybe like Cara Delevingne or like Chrissy Teigen like somebody like that yeah or like Jennifer Lawrence hmm probably around there one of those types of celebrities I love them they're awesome all right this next question actually relates back to when I was talking about the long distance thing and it says have you ever thought of bringing back chicky chit chat and yes I've been thinking about this for the longest time um, I do want to bring it back um, I'm just trying to collect like a bunch of topics to talk about during it like I want to talk about like relationships more like long distance what I do because a lot of people are very curious about it um, I want to start getting a little more intimate talking about things such as like sex and like sexual preference like that type of stuff um yeah because I made a couple on like boobs bras shaving uh, periods like that type of thing so I want to continue doing those videos I just haven't done one in a really long time and the light just went off in the room next to me I don't know if you you guys were gonna pick that up in the camera, but whatever. Long story short, yes, I do wanna start it again. So if you guys wanna leave me some ideas in the comments below of like what you would like to see on Chicky Chit Chat, then let me know. Next, we're asking the deep questions. Person said, is our universe real? You see, now I don't know specifically if our universe is real. I wanna say yes, but I'm telling you there's other life out there. I am a big believer in that we are not the only people on, you know, this like in this world. Like there's no way in hell that Earth is the only place with living, breathing human beings. There's 100% other galaxies in our universe that have life on them and have people on them that have no idea that we exist. They have their own celebrities, their own people, their own president, like all that stuff. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's no way in hell. There's no way in hell. Anyways, next question. Next question is, are you planning on growing out your hair? And that's something I've been thinking about for a while. Half of me is like, no, like keep your short hair. It's like spunky, it's fun. And then another part of me is like, maybe you should grow out your hair because when I grow out my hair, it's like a lot easier to style. Short hair is the most annoying thing ever because it like has to be styled or it looks like shit. If I take a shower, I like can't go to like bed with just like my hair wet unless I style it in the morning. <laughs> Oops. Cause if I just let my hair air dry, it just looks like like, it just looks so bad. Like, I literally look like Lord Farquhar, whatever his name is. Next question, are you going to vlog your apartment hunting? And yes, of course I will be vlogging that. That's something that I always think about. I'm like, oh my God, I wanna make it like, go apartment hunting with me video and stuff. I feel like that'd be so cool. Um, I'm not going apartment hunting until like June though, um, like June, July-ish, so. Yeah, so it's probably not gonna be out till then, but I move out of my dorm in May, and then like I said, June, July is probably when I'll sign the lease, cause then I start school again in August, and I wanna be moved in like by August, so I can spend a little bit of my summer in the city. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna be back in the city over the summer anyways, cause I only live in Long Island, but um, yeah, something like that. So long story short, answer to the question is yes, I am going to be vlogging apartment hunting, but not until like the summertime. But the next question is, do you always plan things or just go with the flow? I am a really big planner, but I am also a very go with the flow person. Like I'll plan like tasks I have to do with like YouTube stuff and like work and like, you know, schoolwork out to a T. But then when I want to adventure and when I want to just like go and do random things, that's when I'm more go with the flow and I'll just like kind of do my own thing and just just, you know, do whatever comes about. Sometimes I'm like coming home from like, I don't know, like going to get food or something and I'm like, I want to take a detour and I'll just take a detour and I'll just explore on my own and yeah. Next question, favorite midnight snack? Uh, easy, insomnia cookies. I order insomnia almost every other night and it's like so bad because they're not like cheap 
but they're not expensive. They're like right in the middle, but like I would like them to be cheaper. But anyways, it, put, it definitely puts like a dent in my wallet, you know? But uh, yeah, insomnia cookies. All right, the next question, I think this is the final question. Yes, this is the final question is, what is the first thing you're going to do when you get verified on Twitter? Now, I always joke on Twitter and I say that the first thing I'm going to do when I get verified is take a nap. And I say that because I've been struggling with this verification thing for a while. And I just like, I feel like once I actually get verified, I'm gonna just take like the best nap of a lifetime. Just like, I didn't even do anything. But like, once I get that, I'm just kinda like, I don't know, I'm just gonna give myself a break. I'm gonna be like, you know what, Christina? Take a five hour nap. And then I will, and that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I think I deserve a nap at this point. Like I just keep going, just keep doing things. And then like my boyfriend calls me at night and he's like, hey, are you good? Like you look dead. I'm just like drinking coffee, editing. I'm like, uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm gonna take the fattest nap ever. But anyways, like I said, that is all for this ex chicky. That is all of the questions. I don't even know how many questions I answered to be honest. I kind of just went on Twitter and I just screenshotted a bunch of them. And then I was like, This'll work. It's 131. I have this room rented out for like the next hour. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It takes me about like 30 minutes to set up all of my stuff. So I'm probably, I don't know, maybe I'll take some cute Snapchats and then I'll collapse everything. Unless there's like another question I could find on Twitter, that'd be pretty cool. You know what guys, let's do a lightning round because I have a lot of time left. So I'm gonna set my timer. Let's do it for one, not one second, one minute. And I'll try to answer as many questions as I can before my timer goes off. All right, so we're going to the hashtag on Twitter right now. I'm going to start and boom, here we go. It's a really embarrassing moment you had in an interview. Um, I've definitely like burped and uh, had like voice cracks in interviews. When did you and Corbin meet and how'd you guys end up becoming a couple? Um, we met online my freshman year of high school. We met in person my junior year of high school and he asked me out a month later. What job are you aiming for? Something in PR or in social media? Uh, how do you feel about me using Cha Cha Chiki's Beauty Chiki as my yearbook quote because I did? I think it's wonderful because that's what I used as my senior quote. What is your favorite video on your channel? Um, my lookbooks. I really like my lookbooks. Um, can you get me into the creator party during playlist? I want to party with you. <laughs> I would if I could, but they're very strict with that. If you were a superhero, who would you be and why? Oh God, I don't know. I don't. I, I gotta skip that. I don't even know the Marvel character. Don't yell at me for that. Would you rather wear a bra made out of nothing but duct tape or wear pants made out of waxing strips? Oh my God, a bra made out of duct tape. Pants made out of wax. Waxing strips. Pants made out of waxing strips are very painful. I don't even know how many questions that was. That was pretty good though. I think I answered a bunch of them. All right, that killed some time. That killed three minutes. Well, I mean, the actual questions killed one minute, but I looked at my clock when I was about to end this video. It was 1.31 and now it's 1.34, so that didn't really like. Whatever. All right, I'm gonna stop the video now anyways, now that I did my little lightning round. I should start doing that. Did you guys like the lightning round? If you like that lightning round idea, then like let me know below. I promise I'm gonna have more interesting videos coming on my channel, guys. It's just that it's been the shittiest weather here in New York. Like actually the past three days have been beautiful, but I've been in class, so I wasn't able to film. But a lot of videos I wanna film involve me going outside, but we're supposed to get a nor'easter this weekend, so like, let me know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's move on to the end card. Chickies you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, stay subscribed to my channel and follow me on my social media, which is Beauty Chicky on Twitter, Instagram, you know, and Snapchat, if you are not already. Oh, and Facebook. Did I say Facebook? I don't know if I said Facebook. I always forget Facebook. If you wanna check out my latest vlog, you can click here. If you wanna check out my main channel or my vlog channel and subscribe to both of them, which you should, we're almost at 500K on my main channel on this channel, we're almost at 500K, you can click here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video for the hundredth time and I will see you guys in my next video. By the way, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I love responding to comments, so yeah. Anyways, with that being said though, ciao ciao chickies. Mwah.